Well, it looks like 2015 is going to be the year for 4K Ultra HD TVs to really become mainstream. But the interesting thing that we're seeing so far is that companies really aren't talking much about resolution. Instead, they're focusing on improvements to color, high dynamic range, better contrast, better brightness. And this is really a difference from last year when all the talk was about resolution. You know, when we bring these TVs into our labs and we tested more than 35 of them this year, not everyone actually notices the extra detail. So by focusing on things like color, brightness, contrast, black levels, we think that manufacturers really think that consumers will respond more to those kinds of improvements than they do just to pure picture detail. All the manufacturers this year are using different methods to try to improve color, contrast, black levels. One of it is quantum dots. You're going to hear a lot about that. And that's a way to improve the color gamut of a TV so that it gets wider, brighter, broader colors. The other thing they're focusing on is high dynamic range. And one of the things we're seeing from Samsung this year is a new line called SUHD TVs that have all of these improvements in them. And based on what we've seen, these pictures really pop. LG is also doing quantum dot, but they also have OLED TVs. But we think that they're probably going to be pricier because as they move to bigger screen sizes and higher resolutions, manufacturing costs for OLEDs are still quite high. And this is one way that a lot of companies can talk about OLED-like performance without actually having to ship OLED TVs. But even companies that aren't using quantum dots are still trying to make improvements to improve the colors in their TV. One way that they're doing this is by improving the LED backlights using phosphor coating, which can make broader, brighter, and deeper colors. While we expect to see more TVs this year that have these enhancements, one of the things that's lagging right now is content that can take advantage of it. Now, there's been a UHD TV alliance that was announced, and some of the content companies have promised to be able to provide high dynamic range content later this year. So we're hoping that some companies like Netflix will be able to deliver this, and certainly we're gearing up our labs to be able to test these TVs to their fullest, both with the new technology in the TVs and the new content that becomes available later this year. For all of our CES coverage and our full electronics ratings, go to consumerreports.org.